If you were going to invest in a stock, uh, Dak Prescott or Ezekiel Elliott in their future? Dak Prescott. I don't even have to think twice. I'm disappointed with Ezekiel Elliott. What right happened? Now. What 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 happened here? Well, it's it's a it's a lack of game breaking speed, and and you know I I said these things a little bit last year in my podcast, and I'm not trying to pat myself on the back, but just things I've evaluated in football to where I was a little concerned last year that he lost a gear. You know, I just saw some runs where I went, man, the Zeke Elliott I saw the two years before that, that would have been a 70-yard touchdown, and instead it was a 20-yard gain. And I think that's the thing that jumps out to me more than anything. You know, even to the Giants game two weeks ago on Monday Night Football, you know, he had a good day rushing, and that's great. But I'm not all about the numbers. It's what's there to be had. And how many times was he going to get tackled by Andrew? Antoine Bethea in the open field one-on-one after he ran through a huge hole where I want to go, hey, that was still a good run, and he's still talented, but, you know, I'm just telling you, the Dalvin Cooks and the Christian McCaffreys and the Saquon Barkleys and the Nick Chubbs and the Leonard Fournettes, those 20-yard runs that Ezekiel Elliott's getting right now are 70-yard touchdowns if they got the ball, and so it's not totally taking advantage of what's there to be had, I think, is the thing that's most concerning with me with Ezekiel Elliott. For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.